The Madison Avenue Expressway is finally reopened this noon. It was a very different scene though this morning as Youngstown police dealt with a deadly crash for hours. All lanes are now reopened. This is a story First News has been following ever since it broke. First News reporter Keely Lommert is back out the scene after learning brand new information about what happened. Keely. Good afternoon, Chelsea. I'm standing right now on the Elm Street Bridge over top of the Madison Avenue Expressway. We're right in the middle of YSU's campus. Now, right behind me, below me, you can see behind me is where around 6 o'clock this morning was a deadly crash here in Youngstown. And in just the last couple of hours, police have confirmed to First News that the driver who was killed around 6 o'clock this morning was going the wrong way in the eastbound lanes. This was the scene early this morning where authorities say two cars crashed. At least one of the cars does look to have been on fire at some point as well. Now we've just learned the driver of the wrong way, black Honda, died at the scene. And the other driver who was driving a red pickup truck was taken to St. Elizabeth's. And we still don't know the condition of that driver. And as I mentioned, it does look to be that one of the cars was on fire after that crash. I'll be talking to first responders here in Youngstown throughout the day to get more details and ask how they were able to clean up the scene so quickly and get the eastbound lanes reopened here in Youngstown. That's the latest for now. We'll be working on this story. We'll bring you the latest tonight on First News at 5 and First News at 6. I'm Keely Lovern, WKBN 27 First News.